So the first look teaser has arrived and it looks like Shauna is in her feelings yet again and we are being delivered with this dry ass game that nobody asked for. Like nobody. I'm actually over it guys. I'm over it. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, Murad underscore Morali. Buy some merch if you guys want to and subscribe to my podcast that was officially launched yesterday. I'd really, really appreciate it. So the first look teaser for tonight's episode has arrived. I do believe we have roughly, I would say, two weeks left of this season. I think it ends on the 23rd of February, which is actually next Sunday. So I believe we are coming to the end of season six, finally. But when it comes to this particular episode, I feel like, you know, they're all huddled together. And, you know, um, Shanice says to Molly, maybe it will be you next. Um, or something, something along these lines. And then- it'll be you next. Wait, no. yeah, it'll be me. Yeah, I reckon it'll be Luke. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Callum was like, yeah, it'll be us or whatever, to kind of just reflect how, you know, excited they are for their kind of relationship to come and, you know, their moments and how enjoyable th- things are going to be. And of course, Shauna heard this and, you know, was irritated by it and pulls Paige away. And I kind of, I find this irritating, this re- reoccurring pattern where she continuously pulls, you know, pulls her away. It'll be you next and Callum went that'll be me. Talk in the corner. Like, I get it, everybody has their like, close friends, but it's just a bit annoying, but, you know, whatever. Why are they there? Literally there. Stand them. Or whatever. And they discuss it, and it feels very muggy for Shauna, but she just gets over it. They begin playing this game. (laughs) And I've said this so many times to the producers that I just feel like I don't understand what's going on here. You guys deaf, I don't understand. If the games don't act as catalysts to build form of drama, to add to layers of narratives that we will enjoy, then the games are effectively pointless. Like, I don't understand. They can be fun and juicy at the same time. Why don't we have a tweet game? I don't understand. That would have been nice to see by now, just to see what people will be thinking. Can they see it? Oh my God, it's so fun. It will just help to regurgitate the conversations. I'm not saying that if the game doesn't bring arguments and drama, that they're completely dumb and that we don't need them. They don't have to just continuously bring a direct argument, but they can imply shade. They can, you know, build a different type of narrative. They can even push a different type of conversation that we may want to try and hear or talk about. And I just feel like, you know, them being um, blind and running around in some cartwheel dead game, driving around, asking for food or whatever. Who, what, what, what is this, bro? What is this? I don't, I don't understand. Why would I want to sit and watch that? I don't get it. Like, it doesn't make any sense. This time, two years ago, we had the live sector test. This is when that comes into fruition this particular week. That would have been nice to have seen. Of course, they've stopped these things and they're trying to, you know, the show's becoming a bit more bland due to complaints. But at the same time, I just feel like it's losing its spark. And the games like this, we don't need in the, I don't, we just don't need them. Like, I just, I don't see it. And then we obviously have the dumping that takes place later on. Maybe I think it could be Naz and Eva. I feel like these two are very vulnerable, especially because of the viral kind of little um, gif that's gone around of her face that looks quite annoyed when Naz is talking to her. That's gone viral in the last 24 hours. So I feel like all the blogs have picked that up. So that could aid um, this particular situation of Naz and Eva being dumped from the island. They are strong candidates. They are the likely ones to be dumped, but I don't know if they're going to be dumped because, you know, in the first half of the season, Naz was very, very popular. So the producers would have known that and I feel like they might want to stretch him out for a little bit more. I just simply don't know. Or has his time run its course? Who do you guys think is going to be dumped from this Love Island um, dumping tonight? Who do you guys think could be dumped? I think it could be Molly and... Ka- I don't think it'll be Molly and Callum because they want to stretch that out with Shauna. That's that dead story and they want to stretch it out. So I don't think it was going to be them. It could be Luke, Emma, Natalia. But it also could be Naz and Eva. I just really can't call it. Let me know, subscribe, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my podcast, please, on Apple and Spotify. The links are attached below. Buy some merch if you guys want to as well. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.